painted up my aircraft with uh, Dark Earth and it's from the range of Battle of Britain ones, a uh, pack of three you get. And the brown sections I'll cut out. Um, and what I'll do is stick those to. I've got some 40mm tape now, so I'll stick these with put stick onto a 40mm tape, cut around them, and then I've got a sticky mask to go straight on where I need it to, and then I can spray the uh, green on. It's a hard pattern, it's not a soft pattern. If it was 48 scale, I would do a very, very, very light soft edge on it uh, using worms of white tack. Okay, here's the aircraft now. I painted it with the green, uh, the dark green from uh, this set here, as you can see. Uh, it's kind of alright. I thought the brown was a bit dark, but mm, you know. Uh, Perhaps this is in the printing people. Uh, so I've left it to dry, and uh, it's quite dry now. I'm going to unmask her now in front of you. Uh, let me just pull this off of here. I won't unmask the canopy, but uh, because I'm, I'm still going to put a coat of clear over this uh, to do the decals. Now, um, where to start? A knife, I think, and glasses. <laughs> uh, some of this I can just peel off. Now. Hopefully, it hasn't bled underneath. Now I'm taking this off slowly because I'm not sure about this life colour paint. And there we are, the first one. Seems to be okay. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, a bit of touch-up work there. You see, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said it was okay. It's actually pulled the paint off. Oh. Anybody want to buy any life colours? <laughs> no, pull, look, it's pulled it right off again. Oh, these paints are useless. Oh, God. Oh, I was, I, was, oh, I was so happy with that. Oh, God. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take the rest of these off. See how bad it is. It might be repairable. I don't think so, though. Okay, I've got all the masks off, and I had quite a few bad pieces, as you can see here. Uh, I might try and hand rescue this by brush, hand brushing it. Um, I know what I should have done now. I, I do. Uh, when I put the brown on, I should have just put on um, a clear coat to seal that in before going on and doing the other. Oh, it's just a pain. A lot of them are just small areas I could get away with, but this I'm going to have to try and mask up. What I'll probably do is give it a clear coat, mask this area up here and just spray this bit. Uh, and that bit there. It's actually taken, it's taken the paint off all the way down to the plastic. Even, even the primer's come off. Okay, I think I've rescued it. I'm just going to let it dry and see how it comes out. But I'm going to have to put a clear coat over this just to see if I can mat everything down to a nice even sheen. Uh, well, well, 
Well, it looks like I've rescued it. Thank the Lord. Sometimes you just got to thank him. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, it, it seems to be okay. And uh, okay, I've I've started the stenciling. Uh, it's all on the wing section on the bottom apart from one that's just on the corner of the radiator uh, flap there apart from that there's nothing else on the bottom no rounders, no nothing okay done the decalin now and uh, during the decalin I was doing a little bit of decalin and then jumping down to the small parts and jumping back doing a bit more decalin and backwards and forwards like that and uh, here they are there you go um, once they were complete I popped uh, a coat of clear over the top of it let that dry and I put all the small parts on there and uh, they went on okay uh, except for the wing aerial I, um, I actually broke that yeah. Put that between my fingers, just putting it on. <laughs> uh, it's, again, it's another delicate part on this, um, but not too delicate. I, it was my own fault. I think I, I put a bit too much pressure between my thumb and forefinger when it snapped it. Um, but a little, a little drop of super glue popped on there. A bit, there's a point, there's a little tip for you. Um, when you're gluing a very thin piece, uh, if you break a very thin piece, if you put a little drop of super glue on the end you're holding uh, and then touch it to the end, pull it off and then push it back on again. What that does, it, it takes the lump away on the ends, on the piece here but it almost instantly glues it because you've got the glue on both sides then um, without having a great big lump in the centre of it. I think there's a small lump left there but on that side you wouldn't really see it. So that's just an easy way of sticking on very small aerials and that sort of thing when they break off. Uh, what else was there? Uh, oh, the turret. I had done a the turret. There's here. There you go. Uh, the mask came off of the turret. And I'm going to sky. It's not the perfect job, but I mean, it's, it's, it's near it. Very near it. Um, Probably Eddard might bring out a, uh, a set of masks for this, and that would be brilliant. And uh, the only other thing I would suggest is um, master kits, I believe it is. Don't quote me on it, I think it is. Um, do a set of brass barrels. Now, I've seen it being put onto the uh, MPM kit, but you'd be able to fit them into here with a very little modification. Uh, you basically cut those barrels off, drill a small hole for the new barrels to fit in and stick them in. That that would be it and it it would solve a lot of problems with that turret. Um, and of course they look a little bit better. Although those are very well moulded, uh, especially for plastic. They're very fine um, and that's the problem. They are very fine and they break off very easily so you've got to watch yourself with those. Um, that may be something in the future to say well I'm going to leave that to the very last thing as soon as I, I've got everything else done I'll do the turret um, the other things was the aerials underneath um, I, I think you can see it, you'll see them in the final picture I use some stretch brew um, and a little touch of super glue on each end of the aerial put that on there that was fine that, that, that type of air was easy enough to do uh, what, what wasn't easy enough to do was the air coming from the fuselage it had to come down and because I've got them on wheels the the rear um, aerial mast is retracted and that means the piece that comes down from the fuselage to the main aerial wire had to be looped in. I found that a bit difficult, but I, I managed to get it done on the third attempt to get it in there. Um, 
So that's that seemed to be that seemed to go fine. Right, I'm going to stop waffling on now and let you get to see the finished pictures. Here they are now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions and your comments. Please keep them coming. See you all soon. Keep up the molly. Bye for now.